There has been a lot of gang movies made throughout the years. We got Warriors, Colors, New York Gangs, but wait, Chicago needs a movie. Let's get into this video. America has always been fascinated with the mob, kingpins, crime. It's in movies, shows, history, and it's become culture. Crime and scandal from inmates in Alcatraz to John Gotti and Al Capone. But the United States has its own share of homegrown drug kingpins, mob bosses, and gangsters. This is Gangsters of America. Hey, what's up guys? My name is JC. I am Wrong is Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my crew, mi familia, mi raza, you already know what time it is. Suance la Suburban, we about to take a ride. What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Wrong is Strong. Your host, JC. I think Chicago needs needs a movie. Colors, symbol, graffiti, hood streets. Chicago has a lot of stories. And some of these stories are told through sweaters. In 1981, a member of the Villa Lobos stole a sweater from a cool gang member. Another cool gang member wanted to get that sweater back. So he went looking for him. He wanted that sweater back. Losing a sweater was very, very bad for you and your neighborhood. He didn't find the guy, so he ended up killing his brother and his sister as they were walking. He hid in a bush, jumped out, and shot him. Chicago's always been a tough city. In 1970, wearing the wrong sweater could cost you your life. There's a hundred stories like this. Hundreds. A Leatherman-style sweater with gang symbols. The sweaters and social clubs worked hand-in-hand. Hand. I've talked about them before. Showing off your membership was one of the biggest, you know, things. Like cool kids being part of a football team. Showing off your membership was them wearing their sweaters. It's what we call today gangbanging, representing. Fights after games and dances were pretty normal. They happened all the time. There was a saying that most gangs in those days in Chicago used to say, we might lose the game, but we're going to win the fight. There were some tough kids, man. Tough kids. If you go back and look at all the history and all the newspaper articles, these were kids, 13, 12, 14, 15, starting gangs, gang banging, trying to survive in a tough city where a lot of people were coming in from different places. Gang members would drape their sweater over their arms when entering you know, enemy territory, pretty much indicating that they weren't there looking for a fight, they were just passing through. And these were actually rules that were respected to a certain point. A sweater with a black body and a colored trim was a war sweater. And the reverse color scheme was a party sweater. That meant they didn't want no problems. They just wanted to party. Represent and party. Other one, go to war and represent. Gang members would assault and kill other members to capture those sweaters as trophies. And it was a really big insult, like I said, to the rivals that lost it. And if you came back without your sweater, guess what? Your own people are going to beat your ass now. This later became, I guess, more of a liability for the gangs because it actually made the job really easy for cops, you know, uh, to pretty much target them. This is where the whole, like, mob action and all that shit came from because the cops were able to tell where the Land Kings were at and they were able to stop them, search them, find guns, and, and this is how they started, you know, uh, hitting them back and getting them off the street. So the gangs started... Noticing this, so they started adapting to less flashy stuff. And this is, late, this is how later sports apparel gang affiliated, I guess you could say, and representing. And when the folks and people started, then we had other stuff. But that's another video itself because 
from business cards to sweaters to snakes to dragons to lions to bunnies social clubs involved into gangs sweaters involved into sports apparel my name is JC I am wrong strong remember don't judge nobody stay in your lane live savage and remember you only have one life to live man live it out here free not gang banging not doing drugs not participating in anything negative you know it's a lot harder to do what's right even when no one's watching i'll catch you guys on the rebound